Today we got these four huge boxes that I purchased during Black Friday and they contain Lego investments. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so as you may know, during Black Friday, there were a bunch of promos. So first of all, we got this right here, the Magistal Magical Tower. That's a reprint of the vintage one, which I actually have used right now. And we also got this little creator set, winter market stall. So that's perfect for Christmas, probably gonna be a Christmas gift of mine. So we got two nice promos. You had to spend like 330 Canadian dollars, something like that. So it's not too bad. And then we got this right here. I'm not even sure what that is, to be honest. Let's open it up just to verify. Oh, it's the bubble. Okay, I'll show you a picture. I don't want to open it because that's going to be another one of my Christmas gifts. It's a pretty cool one. It was a promo and you had to pay like 1,800 points to get it. Now, I also bought this set that was 30% off during Black Friday. I actually had a few ones for 40% off, so not the greatest deal, but you can't go wrong with the Lego at 30% off. And finally, in this big box, we got three of these sets. Not one, not two, but three of these sets right here. The Boba Fett's throne room. I think it's gonna do very well. And it's actually officially retired now, I think. And the minifigures in this set are exclusive, so I think they'll do well after retirement. Next up, we got this huge box as well. I bought a fourth one of these sets. I think I bought five in total. So yeah, five right here. That's the limit. So it's like, might as well max up before it sells out and before it retires. Then I got more promos, two of these ones in total. I got these two Minecraft sets that were 20% off. I think they'll do well just because you got those exclusive minifigures. I'm pretty sure they're still exclusive and it was only like $10 or something like that. So not too expensive. And I got these Tusken Raiders, they were 30% off. I got five of these right here. We've got two more, so five in total. All right, now let's open up this massive box right here. Those sets right here are pretty cool. I think they'll do the best after retirement. I got three of these. Unfortunately, my limit was five. Oh, actually I was able to get five. I thought I had three, so I have five of these. So in total I have seven, so that's not bad. But yeah, I suggest that you hold all these sets right now for investment because I think they'll do very well. You got some really nice mini figures and right now I've already sold one of these mini figures for like 13 Canadian dollars just because those clones are just so expensive. Now I'm actually surprised I forgot about that but I guess I got three of each. I guess I'm gonna have to sell a few of these, maybe keep one and same here. I might actually sell all three of these. That one's a limited edition, so still a pretty cool set right there. And then I actually made a mistake, but I thought this set was retiring. So I actually ended up buying two in this box, but I think I bought more because it was 40% off. I bought them before it was back order, so there were no like actual way to know if it was retiring this year. But I guess I have to just hold them for next year, so it's not that big of a deal. Finally, let's open up this small box right here. Then the box right here is kind of open. That's crazy. Never had that before. But it's still sealed, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, like I said, I got three more of these. And I doubt though that it'll be 40% off next year before they retire, because I think they'll retire next year. If they don't though, that was definitely a mistake. I should have returned them, but I think I'll just hold on to them just because I bought them for so cheap. Instead of 50 Canadian dollars, they were 30. They were 40% uh, off in the US as well, so. Let me know in the comments if you got a deal on those as well and made the same mistake I did. Should I glue those boxes together? I feel like it's not glued properly. I don't know, let me know. It's kind of strange. Not sure what to do with those, but we'll see. That's it for this Lego Investments haul. Like, share, and subscribe for more.